Well, good morning, tubes. Yep, you're seeing it right. The clock says it's about 4.30 in the morning. I've already been up for a little while. I had the shower and the shave and uh, feeling pretty good. Just waiting for Curtis to come on out. And we're going to go on a little road trip today. It's going to be a surprise road trip. So, what we got to do... Oh yeah, just turn you guys around so you can see me at least. Uh, what we're doing today is we're going on a road trip to pick up some stuff for Curtis. I can't say what it is because it's going to be on his videos. And he's the one who's got to tell everybody what it is when he decides to. Uh, he's probably going to do an unboxing video on it. Uh, I'm not sure exactly at this moment exactly what we're getting. Well, I am, but you guys won't know. <laughs> Anyways, we decided today that we are going to be taking the old 2003 Ranger. For the simple reason, there's no use taking his truck. His truck is better on fuel and less chance of breaking down because it is a newer truck and a lot less mileage. But it's also a two-wheel drive, where this one's a four-wheel drive. Mine has the extended cab. His doesn't. Mine has reclining seats. His doesn't. Mine has the automatic transmission. His doesn't. Mine has cruise control. His doesn't. So, all in all, this one might be a little bit harder on gas, which we're going to find out. I'm sure it is. I mean, being four-wheel drive and all, <clears throat> I'm sure that I'll get about half the gas mileage that he gets. But we're going to take it anyway, and we're going to put it to the test. We're going on uh, out to Burden, Manitoba, which I guess from here and back is roughly 700 kilometers there and back. So we'll find out how the fuel mileage is and everything else, but we want the four-wheel drive just in case we have bad roads. And, you know, reclining seats are always nice. One guy can recline the seat and take a snooze while the other guy drives. Uh, cruise control is always a bonus. I mean, I don't care who you are and what you're doing. If you're driving anything more than 100 kilometers, cruise control is nice. And with the automatic, you don't have to worry about shifting or anything else. So, yeah, we'll try her out. See what you'd like. See if we got any problems. Hopefully we don't have any road problems or anything like that. Uh, Curtis did set up on the truck a dash cam. I don't know if you guys can see it from here. Uh, we'll get it in. But yeah, he set up a dash cam in here. So we'll get some road footage as well. Oh, that light's bright. But yeah, actually what we'll do right now while we're waiting for him. To do a cold start on this one, I guess. Oops. Try to move this out of here, guys, so you can see. Yeah, see, I'm not kidding about the time. 4.30 in the morning, as you can see. But, okay. It does this every morning, the same thing. I think it might have a weak fuel pump, I don't know. There we go. So, here's a cold start. Here's the mileage on now, which is... 181 342 that's what I got for mileage on it it's a 2003 but I don't want to run it in the garage right now so we'll wait till Curtis is ready to go but just a quick cold start and uh yeah I guess we're just gonna go we're gonna hit the road it's still dark outside obviously but yeah we'll hit the road and dirty truck and all it'll be a lot dirtier by the time we get home I guarantee that but, uh, yeah, I'm going to check the oil and maybe fill up the washer fluid before we go while I'm waiting for Curtis. But, uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to go on this road trip. And if I find anything interesting along the way, we'll probably add to this video. If we don't, we won't. So, I guess we're off on the... Uh, hey, that's pretty cool. I can see myself in the back of the tailgate. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we're going to off this road trip. Like I say, as soon as Curtis gets out here, which will probably be more with him, knowing him, probably 5 a.m. before we actually leave. But whichever way it is, it is. We want to try and be home by, you know, 6 o'clock or whatever tonight. So we'll get an early start on it, go for breakfast, uh, you know, take our time, drive slow. And, uh, yeah, we'll go out there and get, the, get what we need to get. And when he undoes his boxing, you guys all know what it is. So for now... I'll just say, for now, it's the end of this video, 
And yeah, if we find anything interesting, I'll make a second video along the way. How's that sound? We'll call this video a done deal. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And uh, it's a little bit of an update at the same time on what we do on my weekends. So I'll talk to you guys later. Well, it's update time. We're home from our little trip. And this is what he picked up. This is what we went for. So 750 kilometers there and back. And no breakdowns, everything was good. And explain what it is, Curtis. Tell everybody what it is, because I don't know exactly what it they is. They can just look at my channel, hold that. I know it's a 308 caliber. That's all I can tell you. It's semi automatic 308. With a pretty price tag attached to it. Yeah, with a pretty price tag attached to it. Exactly. And then he also bought some a scope mount for it with a pretty price tag attached to that, too. So mm -hmm. that's what we went for. And now he's talking about going and buying a generator so that might be our next excursion maybe it's only maybe three thousand dollar generator yeah maybe maybe not anyway so this is what we went for uh never really saw nothing exciting on the road on the way there on the way back one car accident but it was nothing major and other than that it was a nice scenic drive took us eight hours to go there and back and we're home yep so as you see we did it we went and got it. A couple hours later, we're back home again. So now all we gotta do is unload it. So there she sits. Like I said, I didn't think we were gonna get it, but we decided to go get it. So, well, we got it off the truck and we went and picked it up. And it's a really nice looking unit. He actually ended up getting it for 500 bucks and you know, it has an injector problem, which we'll need to fix. Other than that, it looks like it's going to be a good, solid unit. Uh, check some dates on it. It looks like it might be a 2005. So, yeah, super deal. Can't beat it. And, yeah, I'm sure Star Puss can get it up and running in no time. Right, boy? Yes. You fix it. Maybe. Yeah, he'll fix it. Okay, that's it, guys. Anything else further to this video that you might want to see? You'll have to visit Star Puss's channel. Thank you. Bye.